Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Insert Coin to Begin Presents Let's Play. I am Chachi, host and uh, owner, contributor, grand wizard of InsertCoinToBegin.com. Why are you looking at me like that already? What? If you've stumbled on this by accident, I apologize for what you're about to see, but you should probably stick around because it's probably going to be funny. You can find us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. We are on Twitter at InsertCoinTB. We are on the Google Plus. We are on the Facebook. Subscribe to us on iTunes. Like it. Like it. For the audio listeners, I just did the uh, eye point thingy to tell you that I'm watching you. Joining me this week, contributors on insertcointobegin.com, Fuzzy. Hi. And Julie. Hi. And in case this is the first time you've ever tuned into the show, which I find hard to believe, considering that we've taken over the internet. Yeah, I said taking. We stole the internet. That's negative five internets for you. <laughs> Here is how the, uh, the, show, the show works. Um, we ask a series of questions that all have a five minute time limit, except for the final question, which is supposed to be a more in-depth conversation, and usually ends up to us naming uh, Lego movies. That's that's how it works. It doesn't matter what the show, what the question is. It usually ends with us la naming things that should be Legoed. Also, I just created that verb. Legoed. Anyhow, each show starts with the same question that is what are you playing and did you play the challenge last week's challenge was to beat Julie in Scramble with friends um I think we should update the challenge to someone else now uh yeah I didn't in fact I won out of the 12 or so games of Scramble with friends I played in the past week I won one one freaking game and that was against Riz by like 20 points <laughs> and maybe Bobby if he would finish his turn that the game we started on Wednesday yeah Bob so um Fuzz hi what'd you play uh, I've been playing a lot of Plants vs. Zombies because it's absolutely fantastic on a Asus Transformer Infinity with its nice high-resolution screen. Love it. I've been playing that. Uh, still playing Major Mayhem. I'm close to getting the chicken cannon, so that's what I'm striving for. And then after that, I'll probably be done with that. Uh, um, and I, I have played the challenge. Uh, it's a game that I just... I don't know. It's just kind of old for me because my fiancé destroys people in yeah. that. And, like, just straight up embarrasses you. Like, you think you have a good round, and then she's like, oh, I have double your score. Or three times your score. Yeah. Yeah, screw that. There's a word for that, and I can't say it. Um, but uh, don't tell Sorg, <clears throat> but while you guys were talking about everything you were talking about on AwesomeCast that you can find on SorgatronMedia.com, I was playing uh, Plants vs. Zombies. Nothing wrong with that. So, yeah. Julie. Ah, Plants vs. Zombies on iPad is amazing, FYI. If you guys haven't tried it, you should. Um, getting ready for the uh, WoW update today, the latest patch, which is the Mists of Pandoria 5.0 patch before the release of the, the new expansion. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's are you laughing at me? I am. <laughs> Is there giggling happening in that yes. background? Well, anytime someone mentions... Uh, I will Kung Fu Panda your ass. Hey, hey anytime someone mentions Mr. Pandaria, I start thinking of the Gummy Bears theme song. Oh my god. So, yeah. That's why I giggled. Anyhow, go on. Yeah, that's basically it. Chugging Red Bull and playing World of Warcraft all night. That's my life. <laughs> and yes, I played the challenge. I own the challenge, except for maybe against your fiance. She kicked my ass a few times, a lot of times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she does that. But I had fun beating you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, 
Uh, yeah, I played the challenge, as I said. Um, I'm one for 37. <laughs> um, I, I played, uh, as I said, Plants vs. Zombies, or an awesome cast. Um, Call of Duty, Arkham Asylum, World's Biggest Pac-Man, you know. <laughs> the usuals. Holy crap! Sword just got beat by your fiance, 1,684 to 542. Yeah. Wow, it's nice. Like an everyday thing. <laughs> Alright. We're done with that challenge. I'm going to finish using the tokens that I have, and then I'm done with that game. I'm out. Use it, use it to play against me again. I am out. Um, <laughs> so, well, hey, Fuzzy. Yes. What is this week's challenge? Um, wait, did you say you found a demo for it? On Android. On Android? Okay, World of Goo. It's, is it on it's Mac, It's incredibly too? fun. On I, iOS? I picked up the, uh, the latest Humble Bundle. That was put out for Android, and that was one of the games included, and it's just amazingly addictive. Can we verify uh, More so for me than whenever I first started playing Angry Birds. Okay. Um, yeah. Can we verify if there's a demo or not on iOS? I don't think there is on iOS. I was looking for it. So, oh. um, But it's it's like three bucks. Okay. So it's worth it. I, I, okay. so I can yeah. pay, I can yeah. pay, it's I'd pay it. three bucks for it. Yeah. All right. I well mean, then, there, I will. There's an HD version for five, but uh, but yeah, the regular iPhone version is like two, three. So okay. well, I, I do love HD. Okay, so uh, this week's challenge is World of Goo. You can get it in your respective uh, mobile marketplaces. It's it's also, it's also available, I believe, on Steam and the uh, Mac App Store. Uh, I, I have it on the Mac. I got through one of those bundles too. I think. Oh, cool. World of Goo sounds dirty. I'm just throwing that out there. Alright, moving on to the next question Brought to us by Fuzz If your favorite musician Were to star in a video game What would the plot be? Go ahead, Julie I chose David Bowie Because he should be in everything Always forever um, That being said I don't know. I think it'd be fun just to be like dressed as David Bowie with your um, cod piece that would increase your armor times two. I think it would be an RPG and you'd have to um, woo young females. Actually, it sounds kind of dirty now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> now that she said it out loud, she's not so sure about that game choice. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sure with it. I'm just not <laughs> sure I want to share it with everybody else. All right, now that we know uh, Jolie's secret fantasies of video games in real life, Fuzz. Um, I'd have to say Jay Z and something similar to San Andreas, but with the ability to just buy ridiculous things such as sports sports teams and Maybachs and whatnot, <laughs> and, and also just with how with how cocky he can be sometimes, just being able to walk around and just troll people unendingly. <laughs> I, I think that that'd be rather amusing. Well, it sounds like you kind of want to mix Jay Z with Kanye West. Uh, essentially, I was just thinking about the Otis music video whenever <laughs> I was thinking of that response. Well, that's fun. Just to drive around in that butchered Maybach, that'd be fun. Um, I said a MC Frontalot or MC Lars in a shoot many robots type RPG. And I can explain. It, it, if you haven't played Shoot Many Robots, you should probably go get the, the uh, demo from your respective console marketplace. Um, it is an amazing game that uh, we probably haven't talked about on here a lot because we were pretty much over it by the time we started doing this show. Um, but Shoot Many Robots is a completely ridiculous game put out by uh, Demerge and Ubisoft that you play uh, a generic character who has to shoot many robots. Um, and then you unlock you unlock uh, completely ridiculous weapons. Um, uh, one of which being gnoming missiles. Yes, I said gnoming. 
Um, and it's basically gnomes that fire out of a gun that just go completely batshit crazy all over the screen. The accurate accuracy for them is like zero percent, but it fires quick enough that you can just cover it. Um, and so, like the game would be uh, you running around, solving quests or completing quests while collecting completely ridiculous items. And, and you could throw like it just cult movie items in there, uh, like uh, you could have them search for, like, the briefcase from Pulp Fiction in one of the quests, and, you know, things like that. That is my answer. Everybody's quiet. So, uh, should we go to the next question? Bobby said I won. Bobby said I won. I don't know why, but I won. Oh, because of my video game idea. Uh, and Riz said he would like to see Weird Al more than MC Front a lot. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Oh, man, a UHF game? Oh, my gosh, yeah. How well, has that not been done yet? A UHF... All right. Oh, no, Bobby said I won it. I beat him in Scramble with Friends, which means I'm 2-37! and 37. Yes! Yay! Moving on. What is the most valuable thing that you've learned from a video game that has been applicable to real life? I'm starting with this one. I said, if you kill hookers after you have sex, you can beat them to get your money back. Also, carrying multiple guns means reloading less. Julie? How are we uh, supposed to keep a family rating after that? I, I, I mean, you did uh, present it properly, but family. still. In, in the first 45 <laughs> seconds of last week's episode, Riz dropped an F-bomb. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because oh, I, I watched that. That was amusing. Because I called him Miss uh, Yes, Riz. your prayers have been answered. I'm back because <laughs> Riz just likes to harass you, and I don't. I'm a nice guy. Yes. I'm like Riz. Yes, you are. All right, Julie, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> um, the Sims taught me uh, that you can kidnap the mailman, the paper boy, and uh, most of your neighbors, keep them in two-by-two two cells in your house, and no one will care. That's what I learned. Anybody want to come over? Wait, hold on. Stop. Time out. Social path. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. And I, I'm kind of curious now. All I know is I'm not going to a dirty dinner party, party at her house. Yeah. Um, first off. <laughs> so, what you're saying is you would pause the game and build walls around these people? No, 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 no. You implement them in the upstairs of your house. <laughs> <laughs> go on I've, I've talking about implements this, this is getting pretty dirty now no go ahead it's not dirty it's not like a sex thing i just you know kidnap people and keep them in my house no i i need you to explain to me what process you took to pull this off well you just build like small rooms with a door and then you like invite the mailman and the paper boy and and the neighbors and when they explore your house and they go in the door into the little rooms, you just delete the doors and then they can get out. <laughs> just, wow. wow. I didn't say that one out loud before this. <laughs> All right. So, um, are you calling the cops? <laughs> no, I would never do such a thing. That seems silly. Um, <laughs> Go ahead, Fuzz. <laughs> I'm gonna... I, how am I supposed to follow that? I'm gonna go make a call. I need you to carry the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, when it, The funny thing is, when I put this into the dock, I meant something that you actually have used. Oh, I know. <laughs> so, I oh, no. Yeah, yeah, no cookouts at Julie's. Um... <laughs> For me, right. though, my answer w would have to be uh, learning about drifting because uh, for three years I drove a Pontiac Firebird, which is a rear-wheel drive car, year-round through western Pennsylvania, which isn't the best in winter, especially with the just excellent plowing work that gets done. So using video games to learn how to handle a drift uh, whenever needed or sometimes whenever wanted uh, just whenever you get bored, uh, that 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 was handy. So yeah, knowing how to handle a 
car. But like, it, it's nothing like, you know, keeping people locked up in the upstairs of your house for whenever you want to get your implements out or anything, but you know, still useful. I'd like um, to take it to that next level, you know? <clears throat> Actually, you know, Juggalo John, he points out a good one, too. In black and white, uh, you're able to sacrifice children on your altar for the most power. See, I'm not the only weirdo out there. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Welcome to the interwebs. <laughs> <laughs> I think the meanest thing I ever did was trap people in fires. Okay, well, yeah, if you put hedges in front of them. Yeah, you're right. I let them starve, and you burn them to death. So how? <laughs> I'm making a phone call, too. That's fine. I'm not going to burn down my own house to make this come to reality, though. <laughs> you probably already have rooms built with the doors locked. <laughs> How many people do you have trapped in your house? Huh? How many people? <laughs> I can't divulge that. Oh, man. Um, that is hilarious. I, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. See? See, you take the ladder out of the pool. <laughs> Who said, oh, John said you take the ladder out of the pool and just let them drown. <laughs> if you burn them, though, you can have the possibility to be haunted by a ghost. Which is what I was aiming for. I'm sure. I always used the money cheat so I could just rebuild yeah, the kitchen. Rose bud. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, it's time for the boss fight so we can get through this and not learn <laughs> any more dark, terrible secrets about Dooley. <laughs> How did bath salts not get brought up there? Uh, they don't have bath salts in The Sims. Well, they should, apparently. <laughs> apparently, you don't need them. <laughs> okay, boss fight. <laughs> what the hell? Sonic Screwdriver said you have to have a table to order pizza. Buy that and then sell the toilets. <laughs> yeah, then they pee themselves. Oh, man. <laughs> Hi, kids. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hold on, hold on. Let's just let's just get this out in the open. All right. <laughs> How many hours? <laughs> this is an impromptu question because I'm curious. In your time playing The Sims, this is for everyone. How many hours have you spent doing completely messed up things to your Sims? Sorg. Um, I've never played The Sims for an extended period of time. Seriously. Moving on. Fuzzy. I've never played The Sims. What? No. I've never seen Indiana Jones and I've never played The Sims. All right, Joey. I don't know, like 98% of the time I played. <laughs> I can honestly say I've, I've spent 60% of the time playing The Sims just straight up destroying people. <laughs> Fire, starvation. <laughs> I really want them to come out with like Sim Penitentiary or like Sim Insane Asylum. No, there is actually uh, there is a uh, prison tycoon. Oh my god, you're shitting me. No, it, it, is, it is by the same people that did Roller Coaster Tycoon. Anybody see Oz? That would be my prison tycoon. <laughs> uh, uh, apparently she's what? missed the conversations you and I have had about Oz. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to know if they have uh, surprise butt sex in, <laughs> in the just, prison tycoon. I think there should be a button and like party hats and favors go, Kaboom! and it would be surprise butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Riz, Riz said, "Isn't that what the Sims are supposed to, or how the Sims are supposed to be played?" What? I'm trying to figure out how this podcast got the surprise butt, butt sex before we got to the Wrestling Mayhem show. Oh, it happens. <laughs> uh, Sonic said, uh, "God Sims play thirty percent, torture the other seventy. Um, he also said, "Good to Prison Tycoon." And Bobby said that his was a uh, roller coaster tycoon, build dangerous rides, or build a park with no <laughs> bathrooms, or build a park that's a walkway to the only only a bathroom and no rides or anything else. It's always fun when the roller coasters shoot off the tracks. Yes. All right, it's time for the boss fight. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, are demos worth the hassle, Fuzz? Um, sometimes. I've had good. I've had good experiences, and I've had bad ones. 
uh, playing the Transformers Fall of Cybertron demo recently. Excellent, and it did its job. As soon as the demo ended, I was like, okay, I need to buy this game now. And it was good. It was just well put together. Uh, sadly, one of my favorite games is one of the worst demo experiences I've ever had. Tropico 4. Because they put you in the first level of the game. Like, there's no modifiers in it or anything. Like, you play the first level of the game exactly as you do whenever you buy the game. The problem therein lies that you don't have access to all of the different things you can build. So you can't build your luxury tourist things, which that's no issue. The fact that I think it's the, um, I think it's a salt mine that you can't build. But at one point, uh, since it's the way the first level plays out, uh, they say, hey, you should go and build a salt mine. And then you're like, oh, okay, I can do that. And you click accept and you only have five uh, task slots. So then that's just sitting in your task slot the entire time that you're playing, and there's no way to get rid of it. You can't cancel it, and you can't build it. So just, I don't know. I think they should have taken out those features whenever they made the demo, since you can't do it. Like, I don't know. Things like that are just kind of annoying. Also, um, another one. It, like The thing about demos is you want to get people hooked. I played the Deadlight demo recently. And it was the most frustrating thing ever, because if if you're going to be one of the few people left whenever the zombies take over the world, I'm sure you're going to have enough stamina to swing a sledgehammer more than three times. It, it, there's a stamina bar where you swing and swing and swing, and then you take a five-minute breather while you need to walk <laughs> briskly away from zombies because you can't run There's because you're taking us out. <laughs> they put you in the most frustrating of parts in that game. Why not put you at the end whenever, you know, you're a well-conditioned athlete toting around an AK-47 where you can have some fun with it instead of just frustrating you and then saying, oh, okay, now give us $15 and play the full version since you're so frustrated. <laughs> now that we've completely upset you, here, <laughs> buy our game. Julie. I um, rarely download um, any, like, I don't, I have to really, really want to be interested in the game and consider purchasing it. Like Arkham Asylum, I downloaded that um, preview and like I did that, and I mean it was great because it showed like the gameplay. You got to really run through the beginning of the first um, part of the game. It, I mean the cinematics, everything was really awesome. The way they set it up and the way you played through it, so it really made me want to buy the game. But other than that, I really don't. I don't ever download them. Maybe maybe I should? <laughs> Question yeah, it's, mark? It, it, it's a cheap way to do reviews for the site. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. I uh, Cheats, hacks. I, I don't know. Um, see, normally when I buy a game, it's something I'm already interested in. Or someone I know and trust their opinion of uh, told me to go out and get it. That's a good point, too. Um, I, I just feel like I get... Uh, I get pissed off when I'm playing a demo, and just when I get to the point where I'm hooked and I want to keep playing the game, the demo ends. Which means I have to stop playing it and either... And this was... I, I don't play demos anymore. I played one this morning just to see what the graphics were like. Um, I, I downloaded the uh, Madden 13 demo last night and woke up early so I could uh, play the game. But uh, but it, you you I it, there's always uh, back when I used to play a lot of demos there would always be a, uh, a a huge delay in playing the demo and then getting out to buy the game so you can keep playing it. I, I mean, because you had to actually go physically pick up the game and hand over cash money and then go back and re-earn all that time that you spent on the game to get back to where you were so that you can continue it and hopefully you feel the same way like once you get back to that same spot. So, I, I mean, it's pretty much a double-edged double -edged sword, I guess. 
demos are great whenever you keep a uh, an install file for Unreal Tournament on your high school server, though, and you go to computer class and everyone's playing. That's oh my god, fun. that's what I did during computer class. I think that's what everyone did during computer class. In Warcraft 3. Well, let's see. Uh, let's go see what they say in the chat room, and then we will wrap up, and we will uh, do that thing. Let's see. Uh, Sonic Screwdriver said his favorite demo was Quake. It took hours to beat. Sorg said some stuff. Uh, John Fun just realized that there is a, a chick on the show. And he died. Um, Bobby said Madden 13 demo. It took him from not wanting to buy it before I played it to wanting to get it and play it like the old days. Ciro uh, pointed out the fact that he said shareware for the first time in how long? Uh, NHL 13 demo was good, uh, but Bobby said he still refuses to play it because, or buy it because of who's on the cover. And, uh, Sonic says, Share was ten times better than a one-level demo with half the options turned off, or a game that you can purchase that you can beat without buying coins, jewels, stars, or whatever with your real money. Yeah, uh, he, yeah. um, the... The gaming industry used to be a lot different than what it is now because you did have shareware with a lot of stuff unlocked and you can go from there. But, I don't know. This topic is too big. Sorg? That was a big thing with shareware was like you got like eight levels of dupe. Yeah. Depending on what the thing is. And it's like, oh, you want more? Go buy it. Buy the next episode or something. Right. So. Yeah. That was Sorg. He sits behind the, the, the monitors and pushes buttons. He looks like a monkey. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <clears throat> so you have been listening to Insert Coin to Begin presents Let's Play. You can find us each and every day at insertcointobegin.com. Gaming news for gamers by gamers. In gamers. In gamers, on gamers, with gamers. <laughs> jumping on gamers, locking gamers up in their rooms. <laughs> Capturing people and just torturing. None of that is actually on the website. Um, it can be. It, it could. We're not running. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, I should have my own section. You can find us on Twitter at insert coin TV. You can find us on Google Plus, Facebook, iTunes. Subscribe to us. Like us, tell your friends, join us each and every Tuesday around 8 o'clock-ish at live.sorgatronmedia.com. You can chat along with us each and every week live. Were you going to say something or are you turning it down? Okay. Every time you reach for the knob, I think you're going to say something. Say hello to the nice chat room. Hello, nice chat room. Man, sitting back there all rude and shit. Uh, this week's challenge is World of Goo. You can get the demo or the, f the full version on your respective mobile devices, tablets, phones, computers, etc. Uh, so come back next week and let us know what you thought about it. Chat along with us. You can email us. We're on Gmail at insertcointtobegin.com. All that. Uh, at Gmail. Not .com. At Gmail. Yes. I skipped a part. For Chachi, that's me. For Fuzzy and Julie, thank you for joining us. Hi, guys. Keep it nerdy, nerds.